yesterday. Let's say you're bearish a little bit because we're you're below the, in my opinion, best support resistance in pivotal moments, and that's where value is. Average longs are long from here. Average shorts are short from here. And these red and green dotted lines called PWAPs. So the PWAPs are often pivotal. And we're below it, right? So we we if you look at the cursor, we, we rally into them. We come out of it. Two things that happen in here. You get one and then you get two. So in, in real time, we're looking at a chart that's below the PWAPs that have two sell imbalances in the same area. So they breach it here, but they come back and they re- they're kind of redefending this 17 area, 17 even area. We know that right now. What you say is stop looking for the right answer of where price is going and start looking for the right questions that you have to ask that'll help you find the right answer. So the right question is what could happen if we get above where sellers are showing an imbalance? To me, that is be careful being or, or getting short. Number one. Number two, what happens if it busts through PWAPs? Is that transitional? And the answer is, well, yeah, at least scratch your head. What happens when net longs turn to net shorts? That's the green laser here going to red, which happens underneath the PWAPs and actually started back in here. And actually started when you got the green... Um, buy imbalance that never got breached. So they walk up to it. They show an area where they're trying to defend. They don't redefend it in this area. They're above the PWAPs. The laser is red. Doesn't mean you got to be long, but you should be careful or not short. And if I fast forward it, you could see it does continue to rally and the upside would have been the right side or at least the right bias to have at that point. All right. Now, when we start getting down into here, you got to be careful being long because it's below where they were trying to defend. That's all. You could actually take a shot at getting long in here or even at worst, you got long in here, but you're out quick for a smaller loser. So you're still not long when the damn thing's down to here. Now, two things happen as we walk through this. You could be bearish and quickly turn and think that this red support and get bullish when you see a blue triangle of Buyers show up, a buy imbalance, that's the blue triangle, and all the shorts that come in to get stuck. That allows you to predict the upside might be the right side. So when it does go up, let me back it up. So when it does go up, you're not surprised. Let's show this in real time. There's more longs than shorts. Boom, buy imbalance comes in, and and um, the laser shrinks. And you could see this laser is also this laser right here. Boom, goes red. And it goes red halfway in the bar, bottom third of the bar. Didn't go red way up now. If you were short, you get the hell out. You don't want to be short with other shorts. And so I said this earlier before I started the recording. The stuff It's easier for me to, to, to teach stuff that now have been put on the chart when it comes to Buy and sell imbalances in the book on the dome, longs and shorts that we've been able to pick off with this OPP. And while it might seem like a lot of stuff is going on in this chart, it's really not. A lot of these are duplicates over different times. But what we're we're trying to find is other people's positions, trying to always locate the weaknesses of those we trade against. We're always in search of the weakness of those we trade against. When trying to predict price, and that's what a trader is trying to do, we're always on the other side of a negotiating table. And you're trying to find the weaknesses of those you're negotiating with so that you can get a better deal, which in this case, a better location to execute your bias or your opinion. There's always people on the other side. If you're bearish, there's always people bullish and vice versa. When you're long, there's always people short and other people long. You don't want a lot of people competing with you for your sell orders and they are if everybody is long too much competition people don't realize is not good when it comes to day trading most people if they were asked the question hey you're long do you want a lot of people long with you 
everybody will chat. Yeah. No, you don't want too many longs because too many. Now, you, you do want people trying to get long, maybe. But you don't want them to be long because once someone is long, they are now a seller. You don't have to take my word for it. Just look at the orders that you put in the book after you open a long position. I guarantee you, you're putting OCO orders. They're both sell orders. One's a stop below and one's a stop above. 